Hey guys, Grumpy Gamer Guys, GB, Saren Shelley here, how are we all doing? Welcome back to Space Engineers! So, if you've been following along, there's our ship that we started with. Taking a few bits and pieces off it now. Turned it off so it's not absorbing all our power either. And that's because we turned it into that. You may also see that we've got some solar panels there, picking up a bit of sun. It's trying to help us overpower our situation, but we definitely need to go and mine ourselves some more uh, ores and stuff like that. So, oh, so without further ado, I think I'll get back inside my body, rather than that camera view. I think I will get myself into this little ship here. Get on board. Now, let's have a look at where's my small reactor. Turn it back on. Take the old parking brake off. Alright. So yeah, as you can see, there's the, the ship that we've been working on. Still some ways to go on it, but it's certainly looking the part now. Now, let's get myself turned around. I want some of this shiny black stuff. as much as possible. So yeah, we've got some plans. We've got some plans to be doing. We need to survive here, but we don't just we don't just want to survive, we want to thrive. We do. We also have to watch out for possibilities of meteorites and hostile forces, because you know there was a, a battle in this system before we moved in, hence where we're getting all this wonderful stuff from. So, uh, do a bit more of this. It's just so handy getting all this as much as we can. Right, so let's get ourselves parked a bit. So let's just turn the old uh, small reactor off. Get ourselves out. We've got the gravity turned off in here at the moment. Right, let's go. What we got in here? Let's have a quick look. Uranium 550. Not masses, not loads, but it's certainly enough to throw in the old. Uh, Refinery down here. I mean, it won't produce masses and masses, but it will produce enough. kicked in since I've turned that on. I was running it on solar power there. It's going a lot better there. So I'll leave that to that for now. Of course it won't connect because I've not connected the two in. Right, right, right. Grab that over there. And I'll just get that fired in there for now so we've got some spare. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> yeah, there we are. Right, we'll leave this power on here for now. Got a wee ship parked in there. Right. Okay. Let's have a proper look at this now. If you've watched the uh, Time lapse video, which hopefully did work, and I was able to show you. I made this two seated uh, version. Now, at the moment, this is just our basic model. I do have further plans to expand on it, but 
but I think what we'll do is we'll jump on board. Just make sure I get on. Go to the reactor. Large reactor on. Take the parking brake off and away we go. She's agile enough. She should be able to get us around a bit. There's the station, which at the moment is our main source of goodies. So we'll get ourselves over there. Now I'm thinking we maybe go up a bit. And we'll maybe have the old grind rooney at some of these bits and pieces higher up. Certainly working to town on these. I was making short work of these. These took forever to drill last time. So this certainly works. Right, let's see what happens when we come back a bit. Oh, there's another one of those ships. Let's see if we can sneak in on that. Oh, well, banging into everything and ruining our brand new ship. <coughs> Nobody saw that, okay. Stripping it down quickly. Pins that in there so I don't actually have it floating off into space. Don't go! I love you, ship! There we are. That gun on top is still zipping about looking for stuff. I'm Kind of beginning to wonder that it might not have any ammunition. Right, so let's leave that there for now. Sneaky, sneaky. Ah, there we go, strip it down. Goodbye, cruel gun. Excellent. Right, well, what else is in here? Oh, oh, there's a... Uh, Oh, good, cool. There's some good bits of computer components. Right, I've seen this over here. I think that's one of them. It looks to me like it's a possible starship. It's yellow, if we can actually see it properly. If, in fact, that is a starship. If it is, then great. We can certainly use some components off of that. It's bigger than the ship starts. Ooh. 
No, go away. This ship seems to have taken a fair amount of damage. So we'll try and grind up what we can. an easy way to do this, I'm, I'm pretty sure there is. Tell you what I can do though. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go, people. We've stopped it floating off into space. Might not have done a great job, but we stopped it. I, I reckon what we'll do is we'll leave it here. actually stabilize it like so to the point where the system's happy with it and then we'll take off and then what we can do is we can basically come back and deal with that when we've got more time right so have a bit more of a type of salvage mission I think the day that's just hole an asteroid over there. I think we are going to take a look at what are we gonna take a look at? Oh hello, we'll take a look at this down here. Big has got stuck here. We'll grind it down, it's got glass. like a nuke. A warhead. So it's most assuredly a ship with a trap. Is that there's a thruster? And if that had been powered up, somebody tried to move the ship, that would have blown up the nuke. Interesting. Okay, cool. Right. Where else are we going? There's a lot to do and see out here, people. Now this space station, which we've now borrowed some of. Seems to be a lot going on out here in the cold, dark space. Well, it's not 
particularly dark, but you catch my general meaning. There's that ship that was floating off in space, so let's get ourselves over there. Burning through fuel here, but it's all worth it in the end if we can get some good bits and pieces. Do 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 okay that's making me dizzy. Right Ah Big red ship and randomly floating in space. Well, part of one at least. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Looks like there was a conveyor system. Never really had a look at the big red ships before, so you know. I'll take engine components. Always handy. I think we've had enough out here with this one though. I think what we'll need to do is we'll go back and find some other stuff. He says. Cool stuff. More cool stuff. Okay. There is some out over there. Kind of tempted to go see. Come on, speed up. Okay, the ship's got some momentum, but I think we could actually get away with putting some bigger thrusters on it. This can't be more starter ship. Oh, hello. It's a practically intact starship, people. Oh, now then, does that mean Turn the large reactor off. Somebody's left a starship. Well, this isn't my starship. I crashed. 
And they haven't died in space yet. So somebody else has been here. Dun dun dun. Right, there's nothing in the reactor. Let's have a quick old look at our reactor. Gonna take that out for now, turn the ship off. And I think I'm gonna try and get this puppy doing what it's supposed to do. Just to get us home at least. Need to be careful because that's just clamped on with its dock and foot. over here. So it's moving okay with the ship on top. Well, maybe not actually. But it's close enough. Get ourselves over to the main base. This ship's kind of perfect for salvaging. So I think that'll be the main plan. But I wonder how we're going to salvage it. This could be the base of our first big ship, I think. We'll strip some bits off we don't like. We'll add some bits in we do. Yeah, we're basically Let's make sure that's still there. Don't want to lose it. So bring this puppy over to there, and we'll stop. That that seems close enough. Okay. Uh, small reactor off. Let's get out of here. First things first. Um, first things first. I think there's a few bits and pieces we probably want to strip off of this. Now, on the flip side of that, I think there's a lot we can actually do with this. seems to be a fairly robust conveyor system. So what I'll do is I will jump into the old cockpit, cockpit take off. Oh, okay. Life reactor on. I do think I need to get some of this out here. 
So let's just try a shift click. I can't remember how to do it. Okay, that's cool. Right. Let's go rescue it before it ends up crashing. We need to put a little bit in here just to keep stabilization, I think. So it's got some uranium in there, and we'll get inside quickly before it spirals out of control. Right. What we will do is we'll get on board. What we'll We'll turn off the gravity generator. In fact, pretty much going to uh, small reactor on. Not much. Oh, alright. Let's get out of here. Get to the chopper. Right. So we basically need to reroute this ship. I am thinking I think what we need here is we need a conveyor thinking we need a conveyor tube So I think we need to get enough one of these in there. Uh, eight. How bad's that? I'm, I'm actually telling myself the numbers. Right, you'll see where I'm going with this. Bit of a strange one. Oh no, that ain't gonna work. I'm gonna have to do it slightly different. Looks a bit weird, I know. But we're gonna call this the unicorn, it's gonna be multi usage. Well, it's not, it's gonna be my mining ship for doing serious mining. Okay, right, so basically we've made a kind of weird mining vessel. 
No. Let's get in here. Switch to number four. Gone quiet. I'm so engrossed that I've actually gone quiet. I do apologise, people. First components need them. Right. I will actually tell you what I'm doing. I've noticed this thruster here is incomplete. So I'm getting it built. To that point where it can actually stabilise the whole ship and stop it from moving. So whoever brought it in damaged it more than even I would expect, I think. But we have a working ship. Oh wait, that's not working either. So 
where we are. We don't, shouldn't have any extra movement. I have a hope feeling it was actually me that broke it, but we'll not say anything. Right, let's see what we're doing. Okay. The old chipperoon, you need some more parts. So, well, guys, uh, thanks for joining this episode. It's been a not particularly exciting one. I will uh, get out there and get some more parts. I'm not entirely sure what I'm after, but we will find it along the way. Um, so when you come back, we shall hopefully. I've at least got the drills made up so we can do some heavy duty mining and get some, some materials we need and maybe even think about making a proper asteroid base that's inside the asteroid. Alright guys, thanks very much for joining this one. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye for now.